Welcome everyone to another episode of Subnautica. Now, as I said in last week's episode, we're going to ditch the big floating island base for right now. And I am here next to the little geothermal vents in the underwater or underground mushroom cave. And you see, it's very pretty. Somebody had suggested, I think it was Matt T has suggested to build something here because, you know, hey, there's thermal power here. We got a really scenic look. Plus, there's actually remaining pieces of old Degazi base segments here, like this little foundation. Uh, so I think what I want to do is actually build here. And because we've got this nice little ridge here, I kind of want to build off of it and let this be like the structural foundation because, hey, there is a little segment right over here of Degazi base. And so that can serve as like a little safe haven if need be. But the idea is going to be to build a research base down here for studying, you know, the big mushrooms and of course the little mushroom uh, eels here and see kind of how their their ecosystem is done. So there's no solar power down here. We could try to use the oculus that are scattered through the area, but better option is of course thermal power right here. And because it's so close, we might as well just go ahead and build up in this area. So that's what we're going to start with. We're going to build a research platform just to get going, get things kind of set up here. And then I have a second stage for the rest of the caves, which is going to be how I want to approach like just the whole overall design. But phase one is getting the main base section done right here. And that's what we're going to start on today. Now, fortunately, I do have my Seamoth here with three storage compartments and just the one depth module to keep me from having any issues. This is my one from the base up top, my original base, which we are very close to. So I do have easy access to my supplies, which means this should go fairly quickly. All right, so I have got most of the actual base structure done. I think what I wanna do is I wanna have it like entryway and fabrication area, some storage. Of course, the moon pool, which will connect straight over here to the same place, kind of like a quarantine decontamination type thing. Then, We'll go through here and right now it's just to this i'm probably going to add like another room over here in the end maybe you know some kind of you know like a multi-purpose room right there or something right now i'm not sure what but i could not get the scanner room to build right there so i ended up stacking it above which is works fine i think this will be an emergency power source like for a bioreactor because hey there's plenty of fish swimming around i will still have I'm thinking like farming right here, like, you know, plants for food and uh, fuel in the bioreactor if possible, maybe some extra storage here or an aquarium specifically for like Oculus. And then this will be like the bedroom area. And what I'll do is I'll add, you know, reinforcements as needed just to make sure everything works fine. But right now I have neglected doing power for the moment because I wanted to get that done and now it's time to do power without getting myself cooked alive the good thing is down here i do have access to magnetite we're gonna get down here i'm gonna see if i can get as hot as possible without frying there we go good thing i'm wearing my uh reinforced dive suit to help mitigate this Actually, I think I'm not even taking damage with it. Is what it's supposed to be. I shouldn't take damage at all. I did get attacked by one of the eels as soon as I got out of the sea moth. That's why I've gotten some injury. Okay, so that is one. I need to get some more magnetite now, which should be fairly easy. Like, there's a piece, and I mean, it's just scattered all around. You just have to find it. Fortunately, with the scanner room, that will be a lot easier once I have some power going. And with the shell outcroppings, I've actually found gold down here now i've already dropped off the gold i found earlier back up in the uh, main base so we're gonna look for a second i'm sure i can find oh <laughs> probably can find it better if i have oxygen so maybe i need to go and get some air real quick in my sea moth all right here we go there's some gold from a shell outcrop that i broke i'm still looking for some more magnetite we got diamond so yeah, there's some good resources down here if you are early in the game and needing stuff like this. Good place to kind of swim through early off uh, without having to go all the way down into the sea treaders path for things like this. 
So I'm going to be going through a bunch of these, <laughs> getting some extra supplies that I really don't need right now. There's some magnetite. I have enough to build another one uh, reactor, thermal reactor. So we are going to do that. And then uh, there was another outcropping here, right there. You all saw one. I'm going to find two more magnetite and then we'll have three thermal reactors, thermal plants. That should be enough, I think. And I have gold so I can do one uh, power link, power transmitter. So that should help. Okay, time for the other two thermal reactors. I want to make sure I get them close together so that I don't have to do a bunch of power transmitters all spread around. Well, I had a spot there somewhere. Oh, come on. It was green. Where's that green spot again? Look, these are so difficult to place sometimes. Oh, do I need to just put it on the lava spot there? Oh, look. Dead fish. A dead eye eye. Oh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. I had it. I had it. Come on. Finally. Just got to get that one little millimeter wide space and it will fit. And I am taking damage from the heat. Apparently it is hot enough that even my suit is not protecting me at this point. Oh, 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 got green over here somewhere. So I've got some uh, med kits with me just in case. Oh, well that was a new one. I got cooked alive because I was right there in the lava jet. So yeah, that did not work so well. Oh well. That's what I get for trying to be all hot and spicy with my base power. And wow, that was a big outburst right there. I think we're going to have to stick over on this side now. I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to how quickly my health is right. Oh, look now. Look how easily it places right there. When before, I could not get to place anywhere through that area. And what am I missing? I had enough stuff, right? I didn't lose everything, did I? Got the aerogel. I had magnetite. I think it cost me some of my magnetite. I think it made me lose the magnetite because of, I, I guess, how recently I had snagged some. And it was like, oh, yeah, uh, you don't get to keep that one now. Finally, finish, finish, done. All right, and I need my power transmitter, which, of course, I am missing titanium now. But I do have some back in my Seamoth. I made sure to bring some extra just in case. You never know what you're going to want to add last minute. And not that spot. Oh, and yes, if you noticed already or didn't notice, I did find a camera drone. It was actually on one of the little Degazi platforms just sitting there. Just a spare camera drone, no base to attach it to. So I'm going to release it back into the wild once I get this uh, built right here. <laughs> And powered up and come on come on transmit up there that's that's enough reach that should reach all the way up there come on we'll go uh fine I'll do that I guess I'm going to have to build a second transmitter to make it actually point it close enough to there and here we go second transmitter right there and BAM it's connected Everything's powering up. I can hear it. And let's go inside. Yes, finally. I can go inside now and be safe in here. So I will be doing some kind of glass walls, you know, windows, so I can look around. I'm thinking I might replace some of the tubes at some point with glass tubes. But yeah, I've got to, uh, I've still got some titanium left so I can build my ladders up. This will be like where bioreactor goes as a backup. Then food production here. So yeah, I've got a few things I can put in. And of course, Biggest thing is I've got the moon pool over there. I've also got some plans for later. So what I will be doing is readjusting this a little bit when those plans are ready to go. Uh, it will be a massive build out. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and adjust it now. I might go ahead and move this over here so I can actually tie in what I want there or yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to do some rearranging now. I already see it. It's not going to work quite this way for phase two, so I need to do some rearranging real quick and make this a little bit more compatible. 
to my ultimate plan. And I've been taking some damage with my Seamoth just sitting there. I'm assuming from the eels attacking it over and over. So, what I've done is I've gone back up top and gotten some supplies, particularly quartz and made glass. But I've also gotten some more titanium. And what I did was I decided instead of doing a multi-purpose room stack again, I just wanted some kind of connector. So we actually do have a vertical connector that goes up, hopefully high enough. I may actually, yeah, it may end up getting extended higher. But the idea, phase two is going to be a string of compartments going in the different directions uh, to each opening. And along the way, place it down like here's a bit of foundation that it goes under to increase the uh, host integrity for the whole base itself. That way I don't have to worry about things breaking. And that will be like the connector that leads to both of the entrances that go up top to the higher depths. And, uh, oh, I am taking damage. Yep. I am a little too weak, so... Ah, oh, I need some lithium. And I dropped all my lithium off that I've been getting. Oh, no. Okay, let me take care of this real quick. I am going to be putting bulkheads in this to try and, uh, protect things a bit. Oh, even my scanner room was filling up with water. And oh, look at that. First time I've looked at this, I will put like a range and speed upgrade thing in this. I'm not going to need a lot of range because the length of the cave. So I'll do some speed upgrades as well. But yeah, look at that. That looks nice. And what we have here already, heat area, you know, magnetite, all that just useful things. So this is a good place to come get supplies as well as just say, hey, you know, this is a cool little research base. And I'm going to have it where both entrances from the top areas will be accessible by, hopefully, if I can line it up right, the glass tubing going to each end with then at the end like a little, you know, station type thing like a multi-purpose room to the side and then a regular eye connector with a vertical connector going up. So it'll be like a little base where you can walk in or, you know, swim in get in the hatch and then walk in and climb down the, a long ladder on each side and then do a long walk through a glass tube getting to see all the visuals as you walk to the main outpost here where they're doing research on the flora and fauna of this cave so that should work hopefully if i don't run into more problems with hull strength so uh i'm going to go ahead and let's get some basic builds going i do need my grow beds so I have food production going in here. It'd be nice to be able to feed myself, you know. Food's nice. I can go get plenty of uh, marble melon stuff. And of course, we're going to do some decorative pots for like lantern trees on one side and bulbo trees on the other. And that should pretty much cover me in terms of my food needs. This is not going to be a lot of text here. It's going to be like a small one. And of course, I'm out of titanium, so I need some more titanium as well which i'll get from my sea moth real quick but let's go ahead and get these lined up first so they're good to go so yeah three on each side lantern trees bulbo trees marble melons and then uh i'm thinking i don't know maybe just decorative in here maybe like an aquarium just to show off some of the fish from the area an actual aquarium not alien containment something like that maybe you know what? Instead of here, I'm not going to do it here. We're going to have the living quarters up top for our research guy. We'll put it up here. Like right here as you walk in, you know, nice little decorative aquarium for some of the fish. We'll have some decorative plants, some pe uh, pictures up, things like that around here. That's going to be, you know, the, the commander here lives here and then he controls the scanning and tells everybody, hey, go here to find this you know if there's other people i think it may just be a one-man show here we might do it like that one scientist at a time other ones just kind of come in and out and visit you know do some research then take their walk along this uh long glass corridor back to wherever else they were stationed maybe the main base up top we'll go ahead and build this oh i had to go that route didn't it so there we go yeah so Glass tube going each direction, and it's going to take some trickery, I'm sure, at some point to get it to line up the way I want. I uh, may have to do some more sections where you climb up a ladder. Again, I may have to come back and redo this higher up with 
you know, uh, more vertical connectors. But that's going to be stage two is basically building out. This feels like a good height from this side is that side. That's the problem. Maybe I can skirt around that way and go over that way or wiggle through there right in the middle of it, right through the middle of the mushrooms. And that will be it. That's it. So now, yes, yeah, my whole strength's back down. So I'm gonna have to do some major uh, hole reinforcements. I might put some more platforms here as well. And I need some lights. I do need a little bit of lighting here. It's nice like this, but it would be nice to have a little bit of lighting as well. Maybe, uh, maybe some kind of, you know, like a floodlight over here. Go. So, I can never remember. Does it aim in the way I'm facing? Yes, it does. Okay. So we'll put that. So we'll do it like right here. Yeah. There we go. All right. Bam. So we got some light on it so things can be seen. Of course, I want glass windows there. I'll be doing some reinforcement or places. And probably we'll do another set of foundations just so it doesn't feel like we're getting cooked when we might step out, you know. And yeah, this is going to be a nice little base, nice little research facility. And because of where I'm located relative to the original base, should be easy to get some supplies in here. Only problem, of course, will be the a massive amount of glass I'm going to need to slowly fill this in. So before we call it an end to today, I do have my uh, free range camera two right there. I'm not sure why that got named camera two when I mean, I've had a camera two before that, but we'll go ahead. We'll try it. All right. Camera 10, <laughs> one, two. I went from 10 to three and I, I, okay, going weird order. That's odd. But it says camera two right there. So let's see if it will link up correctly. It is kind of, there we go. Being a little slow, being a little problematic. But now I can actually take this and drop it off somewhere. Just leave it as like a monitoring thing. Perfect for scientific research. You know, like, hey, we're going to set you over here. Just let this camera monitor and we'll... Check in with it every now and then, see how it's doing. I'll, I'll put it up here, maybe like this. There we go. It's a nice visual place and something's wrong with that eye eye. Okay, but there we go. We've got a nice camera view right there. Looks good. We can leave it out there, help scan for things. I need to get decorations going. I need to get my food going. I need to <laughs> quit bouncing back and forth on the ladders there. And I'm going to have to get a massive amount of glass going and start slowly working our way in both directions. But that is going to be it for today's episode. If you like the new base design, if you like the video, be sure to hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week and I will see you in the next video.